you said also you do YouTube automation, which is another kind of business, and you do the mm -hmm. coaching, which you are helping other people who want to start an agency. And yeah. among your successful clients, what seems to be like something that unites them? So maybe mm -hmm. people come to you, some are doing well, some are doing less well. Of course, it's mm -hmm. up to you as well as a coach in a way, but mostly it's up to the people, I guess, do their mm -hmm. things, right? Like the coach can give... Him yeah most out of himself or herself, people still need to do. So f those people that do well, like the other dude you mentioned that reached to five, seven K, mm -hmm. what qualities does he have in him that allowed mm -hmm. this to happen? Or like, what was he doing? Like, what do you think? So this primary like dude that I was talking about, so he started in our program uh, a couple of months ago. He already knew what to do. And he was basically kind of wandering around, didn't know how to get clients. His cash flow was not that good. You know, he was not doing that well in terms of cash flow. And when I think about coaching, I think about, you know, people that come through our coaching, some people are already well aware of what they need to do, but they just need a coach. And they don't need even our course within our coaching program, but they just need support and they will pay for that happily. Mm -hmm. While other people like this person that I was mentioning, he was actually struggling with that cash flow and he actually went through our course. And, uh, you know, since we offer full time support, like 24 seven support on WhatsApp and stuff like that, he can basically ask us any question. We also hop on weekly calls as well. I think what separates him from from the other people that were not really that successful is just consistency every single day learning something new every single day asking question even if it's a stupid question it's a good question we don't make fun out of anyone that asks uh, you know beginner friendly questions because again you know i was also a beginner at the start it's not and yeah it's it's totally normal like for example someone will say you know what do I need to put in the subject line of an email? You know, maybe that's like logical for someone, but for someone else, it's not, right? Yeah, yeah true. Uh, so I I would say being coachable. I think a lot of people are not coachable. Maybe it's, uh, you know, their ego is in the way or something. Uh, for example, we had a student that was a little bit ego. Ego was turning on and stuff like that. But uh, he later realized that he was wrong and that he could learn from us. That's because, you know, I'm young. And if someone comes to, to my coaching program, like maybe he's 30 year, years old and I can teach him something if he's egoless, right? I call the, these people egoless, then he would learn, you know, how to do that. But I think mainly don't have an ego and just be coachable and you will be good in our coaching program and in life, you know, successful in life as well. Man, pretty cool. We're going to have the links to your program, mm -hmm. your YouTube channel in the For description sure. so people listening can learn more about it. If you want to create an agency, I believe Tin can help you. Tin helped me a lot with my YouTube stuff. I didn't learn uh, agency from him, but mm -hmm. with the YouTube stuff, like thumbnails, SEO, it was done yeah. very well by him and his team. So I really appreciate. So I'm going to have all the links in the description.